What if I told you the biblical story of Eve biting the apple is just an allegory to our infinite light beings falling into matter or the material realm? In the Bible, you will hear about eating, biting the apple, and then all of a sudden they have the knowledge of good and evil. And that was where the fall of humanity started. And in the Bible, they always talk about fallen angels and Nephilims and all that. Here is an image I found on Google. I'm sorry, I don't know who originally created the image. It's not mine. But the earth right on the tippy top of, I think that would be your left. Earth has a magnetic field. In truth, human beings also have a magnetic field. We call that the toroidal field or the Taurus field. This is where in occult and esoteric books, you will have the tree of life, which also looks like a Taurus field or a magnetic field. See, when Eve bit into the apple, she bit into the Taurus field. So our original form is an infinite light being. This is why they called God a light being. It's because we are all fragments of God. We were not created in God's image. We are God. We just momentarily forgot our godlyhood. We are God experiencing different aspects of itself. So how do you trap light? You can trap light using mirrors. This is why scientists, modern scientists these days are saying that we live in a holographic universe, that nothing is actually solid. What if it was just a mirror reflection of a hologram, like a simulation? And when you fall from an infinite light being into the material realm of flesh, in this current material form, we are magnetic beings. This is all just an allegory to our physical truth. See, when Eve bit into the apple and gained the knowledge of good and evil or sin, like that was the first sin of humanity. Doesn't sin sound like sign, like sine waves, like the ebbs and flows of a sine wave? Please Google what a sine wave is, S-I-N-E, waves. We are all infinite light beings currently just trapped for the moment in physical material bodies, but even then, Quantum physics is proving that we may just not actually be as solid as we think we are. See, what I feel like a lot of people don't realize is that the ancients, the people who wrote these religious texts or things that seem like myths, they're actually a lot more intelligent than we would like to give them credit for. We think that just because they're from the past that they're dumber. No, they were very wise. They knew exactly what they were talking about. Instead of using very logic-based and structured ways of describing science as we do in modern day. They use allegories, symbols, artwork to display the beauty of science. This is why so many ancient architectures have beautiful geometric shapes and you wonder how did they achieve that? It's because they were technologically advanced. They knew what they were talking about. This is just my opinion. I think the original Christian beliefs, the original Christian texts in modern day have been watered down. Like there are a lot of false teachings in the modern day Bible. And I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but it's just my opinion, not stating this is a fact. I feel like the true Christianity is from the Gnostics because they too also describe this universe as like a false matrix, you know, holographic simulation. So yeah, technically we are all sinners because we fell into sine waves. We fell into the material realm from our infinite light beings. But it is quite comforting to know that after this experience as being a human, you will always return to your original state of being, which is God, because we are all fragments of God.